Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we are going to use a legendary swords to destroy factories. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the Echo Slam on the dancing forward! There's your slam! There's the dunk! Are you ready to watch 5 legendary upgraded, yes guys, upgraded swords in destroying factories? First, we're gonna use the Bicento. Upgrading this sword will increase the damage by 25%. One more thing, we are going to use the V1 Bicento first. Don't worry, we have the V2. So for the M1, 1973. And for the enhancement, yes guys, for the first time we will be using this. The damage is 2312. Okay, so I've been seeing that comment on my previous videos. So here it is. Obviously, the damage is higher compared to the previous one. And some information regarding the Bicento, guys. You can buy it in the first C in the Skylands with the Master Sword Dealer. So it will cost you, I think, 1 million, right? Yes, 1 million to buy the Bicento. Now, let's try the skills. So for the X skill, there you go, Quake Spear plus the Windbreaker, the damage is 9,459. Not bad to be honest. So after checking the skills now, we are going to use combination of left clicks and skills. So as you can see guys, when using M1 or left clicks, your character won't launch forward, which is really good if you are doing factory raids, right? The owner of this sword is, by the way, Whitebeard. Should I spoil? No! Okay, I won't be saying anything about black beard. I sorry, black beard. white beard. Sorry. <laughs> so guys, there you go. But gamer nom, this sword has a V2 version, right? Yes. Don't worry, I will be using that now. So here it is, V2, Bicento. So guys, for the left click, 1,973. Yes, it's the same with the previous one. How about the one with the hacky, 2,312. Yes, it's the same. Wait, Gamer Nom, so how will you know the difference? Guys, the, you will see the difference in the skills. Name is the same, but the effects and the damage is different. I, I'm not sure if it looks better, but the damage now is 10,422. That is a lot higher compared to the previous one, the V1 Vicento. I think they should increase the M1 damage, right? Not just the skills. Okay, so factory destroyed. Next sword will be the Dark Dagger. Okay, so these are the requirements to upgrade and the damage increase is 10%, so let's try it. Okay, so for the left clicks, 1737 is the initial damage. How about with Haki? So damage is 2034. Bicento damage is higher, right? Okay, so for the left clicks, I really don't like this kind of left click. The one where it will launch you forward. Because if you want to like increase the mastery AFK, you just need to eat a logia fruit, right? And then AFK, but with this one, you cannot. Or maybe you can just uh, lessen the speed, right? For the skills, Shaming Slash and Proficient Impale. There you go, guys. Check that out. No damage. So for those who want to use this sword or dagger, this won't be your cup of tea. Again, why? Aside from the M1, we'll launch you forward. You cannot damage the core with your skills. Hmm, guys, regarding the skills, the slam, ah, sorry, the shaming slash, I think the reference of this is when Mihawk fought Zor, right? Okay, I'm, I ain't gonna spoil anything. So that's it, we were able to destroy it with M1. Next up is the Saber. Sad to say that this is V2, already V2, and the upgraded version has 15% increased damage. So let's try it. 1,643 for the initial M1. With Haki, the damage will be 1,924. Hmm. So it's kind of low. So let's continue using M1. Hmm. I'm curious, what is the final damage before the shield of the core is activated? Let's check it out. 30k. 40k. Hmm. I'm going to make a guess. Maybe 60k. Something like that. There you go, 60k. Okay, 64,000. How about the skills? Guys, the Deadly Rush is one of the strongest skills in the game if you hit it. Check that out, guys. 7,621. That's just the Z skill, guys. Only the Z skill. Plus a triple slash. 
a total of 12,318 damage. Okay, so not bad. Guys, just a reminder to hit that 7,000 damage, you need to hit it properly. For example, this one, I made a mistake here, Z skill, Deadly Rush. Check that out, 5,494 damage, okay? So make sure to practice using the Saber first, just in case you want to use it or for PvP, okay? Okay, so additional information regarding the Saber. This is the sword used by my favorite character in One Piece, Red Hair Shanks. And I think we are about to destroy this one now. Oh, another mistake. Again, the damage of that is 7,000. There you go, there you go. Okay. So I think this is about to get destroyed, this core of the factory. There you go, for the fruit. We got the dark fruit. Moving on, next sword. Oh wait, we are holding the true triple katana. No, not this one. Let's go to the docks too. I'm gonna show you the upgraded for form first of this sword. I think mm, we're gonna use Toshita here. Toshita, there you go. Not upgraded yet, so we need to upgrade it first. Let's upgrade this. Okay, the requirements, a tusk. And the leather. There you go. It will increase your damage by 8%. Now let's try it. Again, we're gonna use Toshita. Upgraded form. Left click. 1867. I think this damage is higher compared to the saver V2. Yes, 2188. So let's continue using left clicks. For me, Toshita sword is one of the most important swords in the game because, guys, I will enumerate it. First, if you unlock this sword, you will unlock the boss Longma. This boss is very good for grinding masteries. But before we continue, the skills first, let's check it out. X skill is the Celestial Ravager. Z skill, Heavenly Lunges. Total damage, 8160. I think this is not the uh, highest damage possible. To be honest, this skill is not easy to hit or maybe I'm just lagging. So again, let's try it one more time. Oh, there you go. There you go guys, total 9038. Guys, this sword is very important. If you wanna unlock the CDK, the newest sword in Black Fruits. So make sure to get this one. Oh, I hate lunging M1. <laughs> anyway, this factory is toast. There you go. Oh, we are wasting time. Left clicks, there you go guys. For our fruit, I think we got the love fruit. Moving on, next up, I think this is our final sword. The Yama Sword, same materials on upgrading, plus 10% increased damage. For the M1, 1,902 with Haki, 2,228. Not bad to be honest, but again, the M1 will launch you forward. Almost the same with Toshita. So let's keep on hitting this one. So guys, this sword is also important in order to unlock the cursed dual katana, so Tushita and Yama. Final damage, oh, 87,000, not bad. For the skills, Infernal Hurricane and Hellish Slash. Total damage is 8,000, let's check it out, 8,281. Okay, hmm, not bad. I really just don't like the lunging forward, but guys, there's a technique here. Just, again, decrease the speed, okay? I think that's 1,500 milliseconds. I know some of you are thinking, Gamer Gnome, there are other legendary swords. So are you going to make a video of that? Yes, guys, if this video reaches 100,000 views, if we reach that, we are going to make part two of this, okay? So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. Oh, by the way, we got the... What fruit is this? Kilo fruit. <laughs> This fruit sauce. Again, this is Gamer Gnome. Gamer Gnome out.